Welcome back to PJ Chen Design. This is PJ. Today we're gonna talk about this golden snitch 3D modeling from Harry Potter inspiration and how to get the pattern on the ball without deforming too much as well as this wing design. Are you ready? Let's get started. For this tutorial, mainly we want to talk about two things. One is how do you apply the design to the this round surface and without distort too much. And the second is how to make this wing here. In this design, you can turn it into the necklace. Are you ready? At starting from the scratch. Since I'm not going to print it out, so it doesn't matter the size, but if you do want to print it out, you have to model exact size, right? So let's starting from um, making a sphere. Let me turn it into black color and it can be any size for the sphere right here. And we need to work on the design right here. If we use the command for create UV curve, and you're going to see a pretty much a rectangle here. That means if we have this surface and stretch open it and make them flat, then you will get this area. However, you also need to know that at this edge and this edge on both ends is actually this line right here on my uh, sphere. So you can see there's a darker line right there. And what that mean is everything close to the center it will be the middle of my sphere, which it won't have a lot of uh, deform. But if you have uh, any things close to this edge and this edge on the top and the bottom, and they pretty much will deform because they have to cramp it into this tiny area. All right, so the key is we try not to draw anything that is way too close to the top or way close to the bottom. All right, so you are going to draw your own design right here. In this case, I'm going to do something simple uh, and close to whatever that piece look like. And first of all, I'm going to draw a line in the middle. It's, this is just a reference for the line that I'm going to draw. And I'm going to draw something really simple like this. Uh, it look like something like this in the movie. And I try to find some image, um, but it's always really blur. And so I'm going to draw something like that. Now with this line right there, you can, you know, go ahead to turn on a control point and then you can edit one by one. Or if you want to make them smoother, you can just use the smooth command and you can pick up the curve and hit enter. And then you can kind of moving those bar right here so that will get smoother. That this there's a two bar you can kind of try it and see which one that work better. Or what you can do is you can also use the rebuild. The only thing about the rebuild, it will even out the point in between, so the shape will change in a little bit. Let me show you. If I doing last point like six, and then you can see a huge deviation right here that red line is indicated, right? So so if you originally have a 11 point, I always go a little bit more than what the original has. So it doesn't have a huge deviation, but that's another way that you can do um, to make the line smoother if you are looking for the smoother line. All right. And then um, I think with the line, it also have some sort of a curve. So I'm going to simply just draw some curve right there. and doesn't have to be exactly with the original design. If the original design is really complicated and you are making the jewelry is really small, it pretty much it won't show if it's like way too detailed. All right. On my design, I also want to draw something look like this and just wanted to show you what they will look like um, once you get them into the surface. All right. Okay, so some people will ask me if you are going to pipe it, do you want to pipe it now or you want to pipe it on the surface? In my case, it's always piping on the surface because anything that you pipe here turning into a surface, once you get into this surface, it will deform it and it won't be consistent pipe looking there. So we just need the curve right there. All right, let's turn in this into the surface by using surface from planar curve and this will be the surface. All right, and then the, the way to apply the curve to the surface, we're gonna come into the transform and you have the one it's called flow along surface. 
Okay, and we're gonna pick up the object. So we're gonna pick up this curve first and hit enter. We're gonna pick one of the corner right here. And that's, let me show you on the perspective. And we wanna pick one of the corner right there. Notice that they are going on the bottom because the orientation is not right. So I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm going to pick up right here. And I'm going to pick up this edge right here. I'm going to pick up this edge right there. And as you can see, I have something like that. Notice that the one on the bottom is not too bad. It's maybe a little bit pointed close to the end because we get it really close right there, right? So it deformed it a little bit, but that's not too bad. However, this guy doesn't look too good, right? It's like having that peak there is because this is like way too close to this edge. So the curve on the top, it doesn't work. So we need to do the other way. The curve on the bottom, I think this is okay, even though it's slightly pointed. And if you really don't like it, you can edit the control point and pull back to the surface. All right, but how do we do the one on the top? If you're coming into your curve, you have this one, you can interpolate curve on the poly surface. So we want to use this one and we're going to pick up the surface first and you will say, hey, start a curve and then we're going to start drawing. You're going to click it on directly on the surface. It may not be the best option, but it will get really close. All right. See, I still have that kink there. Maybe I'm getting too close and it's kind of magnified into there. So I'm going to do one more time. This time, let's make sure we do not have any, the all snap is selected. So we're gonna go here, 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 coming in here. Don't wanna get way too close to there. All right, so how are we gonna adjust this? Uh, once you have draw this, you can see I have so many points right there. First things we wanna do is we wanna rebuild this surface, make it last point or something is manageable. Okay, and then we're gonna click okay. Now you see that this curve is much more smoother, but the only problem is some of them is not on the surface, right? So what we wanted to do is you come in here with the icon or you can just type it for point pull and then you can pull this curve and hit enter and back to the surface right so now it is completely on the surface right and you can keep edit it until you find something that you like you can edit pull again rebuild edit pull again until you find something that you like let's do a test if we have all the curve that we select and then we wanted to do pipe command and you want to pipe it for something 0.7 millimeter and you hit enter and that will be the design right there. It's not too bad, right? So once you have that, notice that this is in the back. Um, you can kind of uh, rotate it everything 90 degree. And I want to simply just mirror that piece going mirror and snapping into the zero to the other side. So then I will have the pattern there. Let me go ahead to hide this one. And then let's take a look on the render view. All right, so now we have this as our design. Uh, we also wanted to making the wing, but first of all, I noticed that on the original design, you have some sort of a ball looking things. So I do want to snap in something right in the middle and creating a sphere um, by using a sphere command. And so I have a ball things there. So let me turning everything into the ghost view. So it's easier to see if that work and you can kind of uh, moving this ball if it stick to the bottom and kind of moving this ball right here uh, for whatever that's going to work. All right, I'm going to turn 180 degree here so it's easier on the workflow. All right, so now we are going to creating the wing. For the wing, I'm going to draw with the control point curve and I'm going to starting from here and coming up for whatever the wing is going to look like, something like this. All right, so to creating the surface of it, we're simply gonna use the pipe, but how can we get the pipe in different uh, thickness? I'm going to make sure the beginning and end is the same size, right? And then I'm going to move my mouse to whenever I want them to start in backing, uh, become thicker. So I'm going to get one here and make them a little bit thicker right there. One in the middle, I can make it like 
that thick and it's going to taper it out at the end. Let's give it a try to look at it. All right, so it's not too bad. If you take a look on the perspective view and then it looks something like that. Now, you also can do a little bit uh, modif modification, say I, this look really like stiff. I might want it to go back and coming out and maybe this one going like this and that will work too. And all you need to do is adjust the control point and then we can come into here and then we can do the pipe again. So let's go ahead to pipe it. We want this thickness, the same thickness at the end and somewhere about here, make them a little bit bigger and somewhere right in the middle make them slightly bigger or whatever size you think is it, it will work for you. Okay, I think I get it a bit too thin, but that's okay uh, for this demo. All right, so next thing is we need to know like what is the bottom of the wing look like. So I'm going to draw simply draw a line and this line, it could be going from here, coming down something like this and going up and going up like this. All right, so basically this is the line I'm going to trim everything else. So let's go ahead to creating a box first. Coming into the top view, I'm going to draw a box and something look like this, something about this long, all right? And after I draw the box, I'm going to put the box about right here to start with, uh, maybe a pass a bit longer. So I need to pass this line and the line in the middle right here. Okay. And we're going to trim it off. So if it is too long, that's fine. And then also this box, I want to make sure them they are in the right place, something like this. And I want to tilt it a little bit. So now how we're going to have this bar following with this curve uh, on the wing. And let me mark this one into the red color so it's easier for you to see. All right, so we have a one box right here. We're just going to have the command for array and then we want along the curve. So that object is going to be array and this red one will be the curve and depends on how many that you want it. As you can see, it's kind of tilted there, but that's okay. We can change to no rotation right there. And then currently you see the numbers two here and that's give us the beginning and the end, right? So we do want to uh, make sure that we have more. So let's say, let's try 20 and it is not touching. So we need to make sure it's touching. So I wanted to do maybe 28. And now it is touching there. Okay. I also wanted to record a history right here, just in case if we want to changing any of the angle or things like that. Okay. So let's go ahead to hit enter and that will be the pattern. Now with this pattern, if you rotate it a little bit more and you're going to see everybody is rotating and that kind of give us a little bit. If you take a look on the render view, you're going to see the edges more obvious right there. So that may be the one that we wanted to do. Okay. So now we have this, I'm going to pick up this curve and also pick up this curve. This curve is not enough. Actually, we don't need the very last one. So I also want to extend this curve a little bit. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to come into the curve and you have the curve for extended curve. And we, we want to extend the curve from the end for whatever long that's fine as long as it's past the, um, the design. So now we have this curve and this curve that is not enough in the middle. So I'm going to pick up certain thing in the middle, for example, those few and just make them a bit lower. So that way I have, I can make sure that it's it will be trimmed and it will say, it keeps saying it break the history. That's fine. All right. So I'm going to have all of this and let's go ahead to extrude it into the surface. And we want to bring it back to make sure it's intersect. All right. So first thing first, I'm going to have this curve and this curve that we have over there. And let's go ahead to trim everybody else here on the top and also everybody else here on the bottom. Okay, so then we got something like this, 
right? As you can see, top and the bottom is being trimmed. Now, next things is it will say to break the history, but once again, we don't need it anymore. So we the next things that we wanted to do is we want to pick up the things only uh, in the middle for our design, and we want to use the trim command one more time. This time, uh, we want to trim off the surface, so all of them is actually cap it now. So we can pick up everybody and just join them. So that way, we'll have a solid if we need to print it out. Okay. And the last one seems a bit longer. Uh, I should have make them shorter, but I just wanted to show you how I make this. Once you have everything, all you need to do is just pick up the wing that you have and simply just mirror to the other side. And put the jump ring on two sides, then you can um, making a necklace out of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how you like it. And if you like to see something more related to the movie, object, and turning into the Rhino 3D model. Check out my membership program. There are a lot more trick and tips for my 3D model skill. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next.